hello viewers in today's class we are going to take up some problems in which we discuss uh, the continuity of a function so here we have the first problem uh, discuss the continuity of the function f of x uh, e raised to 3x minus e raised to minus 5x divided by x when x is not equal to 0 and uh, the value of f of x is given as 8 when x is uh, 0 right so we know that a function is said to be a continuous uh, function uh, if the left hand limit is equal to right hand limit and uh, these two limits exist and they are equal and uh, further uh, these two limits are equal to uh, the value of the function at that particular point right so here uh, we can take the point as a so in this case uh, we are given uh, uh, x equal to 0 so here the value of a is equal to 0 right so here the point of consideration is a is equal to 0 so we have to uh, show that uh, the uh, left hand limit is equal to right hand limit and both the limits exist and uh, uh, these two limits are equal to uh, f of 0 right so let us first find the left hand uh, limit right so left hand limit can be written as uh, limit x tends to 0 minus f of x right so now we can write it as limit x tends to uh, 0 minus or uh, we can introduce uh, the uh, parameter that is h and we can write x is equal to 0 minus h so that uh, this uh, x tends to 0 minus it becomes uh, h tends to 0 right so here we'll have x equal to 0 minus h so here we can write f of 0 minus h so now uh, the limit uh, it becomes limit h tends to 0 so here we have uh, the function so for x we can uh, write 0 minus h and uh, we must remember one thing that is h is greater than 0 right so when x tends to 0 h tends to 0 so here we can write e raised to uh, 3 and for x we have 0 minus h minus e raised to minus 5 0 minus h divided by 0 minus h now if we simplify it then we have e raised to minus 3h minus e raised to 5h divided by minus h now viewers here will apply one important result uh, from uh, the limits and uh, the result is uh, limit x tends to 0 e raised to x minus 1 divided by x is equal to 1 right so uh, this is the result which will be utilized uh, to evaluate this limit right okay so now we can write limit uh, h tends to 0 and uh, here uh, the numerator can be expressed as e raised to uh, minus 3h and minus 1 and uh, this term can be written as e raised to 5h minus 1 right okay so now uh, we have expressed e raised to minus 3h minus e raised to 5h as this because here minus 1 and uh, this minus and minus plus 1 so 1 and 1 will get cancelled so now uh, uh, splitting this uh, uh, expression at this point so we can write limit h tends to 0 e raised to minus 3h minus 1 over minus h and uh, minus uh, e raised to 5h minus 1 divided by minus h right okay so now uh, this can further be written as limit h tends to 0 and uh, uh, we can write 
uh, this term as e raised to minus 3h minus 1 over minus 3h and here uh, we can multiply it by 3 so that these uh, this 3 and this 3 get cancelled and we get the uh, same term right and here minus and minus uh, become plus so here we have plus so e raised to 5h minus 1 and divided by h so here we can write 5h multiplied by 5 right now uh, we have expressed uh, this limit uh, in terms of uh, this uh, standard result so here we see that e raised to x for x we have minus 3h and here also for x we have minus 3h so this form is now identical to this form and this form is identical to this form right so now uh, we can write a limit h tends to 0 e raised to minus 3h minus 1 over minus 3h multiplied 3 plus limit h tends to 0 e raised to 5h minus 1 over 5h multiplied 5 now this limit this limit becomes 1 so we have 1 multiplied by 3 plus this limit becomes 1 and uh, here we have 1 multiplied 5 so this is 3 plus 5 8 right so the left hand limit is equal to 8 right so similarly uh, we can find out uh, the right hand limit so now uh, for uh, calculating the right hand uh, limit uh, we can uh, write here uh, plus right so x tends to 0 uh, plus f of x so here also we have uh, the positive sign and here I uh, will substitute x equal to 0 plus h right so here in all these expressions we can uh, make minor uh, modification so here we have plus here we have plus and uh, this becomes plus 3h and here we have minus 5h right so here we have uh, uh, plus h here also we have plus h here also we have plus h here also we have plus h and here we have minus h right so uh, here we can write now minus 3h and uh, here we have plus here also we have uh, plus right okay so now uh, here we have minus 5h and here we have uh, plus 3h and here we have plus 3h right and uh, here now we'll have uh, the negative sign this sign and here we have uh, minus 5h e raised to minus 5h minus 1 divided by h so here we have minus 5h and in order to convert this form into this form here we should have uh, minus uh, 5 and here we should have minus 5 right so uh, these are the uh, these are some of the modifications so now uh, uh, we can write so we have uh, here limit h tends to 0 and uh, e raised to 3h minus 1 divided by 3h multiplied 3 and uh, here this minus 5 and this minus uh, it becomes plus this minus and this minus and the limit h tends to 0 e raised to minus 5 h minus 1 so now here we have minus 5 h uh, multiplied uh, 5 so uh, now this limit and this limit this one and this one uh, these two limits uh, will be uh, evaluated by making use of this result so here this is e raised to x minus 1 divided by x and similarly uh, this is e raised to x minus 1 divided by x so the value of uh, this limit is 1 
so this is 1 multiplied 3 the value of this limit is 1 1 multiplied by 5 so this is 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 so viewers uh, here we have seen that the left hand limit and the right hand limit both the limits exist at x equal to 0 and the value of uh, uh, these two limits is equal to 8 right and the value of the function at x equal to 0 is also given as 8 right so f of 0 is equal to 8 and left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to 8 so we conclude that uh, the this function is continuous at x equal to 0 right now let us take one more problem so here we have the uh, we have to discuss the continuity of this function f of x is equal to e raised to uh, 1 over x minus 1 divided by e raised to 1 over x plus 1 when x is not equal to 0 and the value of the function at x equal to 0 is given as 0 right so here again uh, we'll find the left hand limit the right hand limit and uh, f of 0 is given and uh, we'll try to see uh, whether the left hand limit or the right hand limit they exist or uh, whether they are equal or not right so let us first find the uh, left hand limit so LHL is equal to limit uh, x tends to 0 minus f of x so we can write it as uh, uh, this is h tends to 0 f of uh, 0 minus h so here we are substituting x equal to 0 minus h h is greater than 0 and as x tends to 0 h tends to 0 so now this is limit h tends to 0 and substituting 0 minus h for x in this function so we have e raised to 1 over 0 minus h minus 1 e raised to 1 over uh, 0 minus h uh, plus 1 right so this is limit h tends to 0 e raised to minus 1 over h minus 1 e raised to uh, minus 1 over h plus 1 right now uh, if we substitute h equal to 0 here uh, we'll get uh, 1 over 0 so we know that uh, limit h tends to 0 e raised to minus 1 over h is equal to uh, 0 why because uh, this is uh, e raised to minus 1 over 0 that is equal to e raised to minus infinity and uh, this is 1 over e raised to infinity and uh, this is 1 over e raised to infinity is infinity so this is 0 right so uh, uh, this is 0 minus this is 1 and this is again 0 0 plus 1 so we have minus 1 over 1 that is minus 1 so the left hand limit is equal to uh, minus 1 right now let us find the right hand uh, limit so this is limit x tends to 0 plus f of x so this is limit h tends to 0 f of 0 plus h right so here we have x is equal to 0 plus h and h is greater than 0 when x tends to 0 h tends to uh, 0 right so substituting uh, 0 plus h uh, for x here uh, we have limit h tends to 0 e raised to 1 over 0 plus h minus 1 e raised to 1 over 0 plus h plus 1 right so this is limit h tends to 0 e raised to 1 over h minus 1 e raised to 1 over h uh, plus 1 right so now uh, here uh, we can uh, uh, write uh, this expression uh, as uh, limit h tends to 0 now if we take uh, e raised to 1 over h common we can write e raised to 1 over h 
uh, 1 minus 1 over e raised to 1 over h and similarly in the denominator uh, we can write e raised to 1 over h as common so we have uh, 1 uh, plus 1 over e raised to 1 over h right so these two get cancelled so we have uh, limit h tends to 0 and 1 minus uh, 1 over e raised to 1 over h and 1 plus uh, 1 over e raised to 1 by h right now again we'll apply uh, this rule because uh, this expression can be written as uh, limit h tends to 0 1 minus e raised to minus 1 over h 1 plus e raised to minus 1 over h so the limit h tends to 0 e raised to minus 1 over h is 0 so here we have 1 minus 0 divided by 1 plus 0 so this is 1 over 1 that is equal to 1 right so we uh, we have seen that the uh, right hand limit is equal to 1 so left hand limit is minus 1 right hand limit is 1 so we see that the left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit and thus we conclude that uh, the left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit at x equal to uh, 0 so therefore uh, this function f of x is not is not uh, continuous right so f of x is not continuous so here uh, left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit so the limit x tends to 0 f of x uh, does not exist so we conclude that f of x is not continuous